Good day fellow DIYers, this is your DIY dad. On this video, we're going to talk about drill press. models or yung mga floor models. Ito yung mga drill press na commonly ginagamit sa mga industrial shops katulad ng Tabla Primera Furniture Studio. Ito ay mas mabigat, pero it has more power, capacity, and features. Second, the bench top models. Mas maliit, mas magaan, at mas portable. Nasaktong-sakto sa mga ngailangan ko bilang isang DIY. Ito ang aking Lotus 350 was drill press with 13mm or half an inch chuck capacity. There are lots of reasons kung bakit ako may drill press sa shop because drill press are not for woodworking only. Nagagamit din ito pang butas ng bakal, aluminum, acrylic sheets, at marami pang iba. When I got this drill press, it is disassembled by parts, which is a good thing for us na ma-familiarize agad sa mga parts and components niya. And there's that feeling of satisfaction of owning something na ikaw yung bumuo. For sure, hindi ka naman may hihirapan sa pag-assemble because aside sa warranty card, may kasama pa siyang easy to understand na safety operations manual. And I will discuss to you the most important thing in the assembling process. And that is the installation of the chuck. We need to be very gentle sa pag-install sa kanya. I install it using a rubber mallet and a piece of board. Or a carton will do. I just inserted the chuck to its hub, then cushion with a board or a carton. Then it strike with a light stroke using a mallet. On this way, may iiwasan natin masira yung alignment ng chuck. And now, our machine is ready to use. And pakusapan naman natin yung mga parts in their greatest points. And let's start from the top. This is the head. To open it, we just need to loosen this bolt. This is the spindle and this is the motor. These two are interconnected with the belt. And yes, it has 5 speeds that you could use in different purposes. There's a guide here showing the combinations that we need to make on our desired speed of the machine. Papapansin niya, may 50 Hz, may RPM. Yung HZ na yun, it means Hz. It is equal the number of cycles per second. Remember, cycles per second. Yung RPM naman, it means revolution per minute. It is the number of turns in 1 minute. Ito yung rotational speed. Remember, number of turns in 1 minute. Yung hertz, cycles per second. Hertz is equal to 60 RPM since there are 60 seconds in a minute. Ako, I'm always good to stay at the middle speed. Then I just make adjustments kung kinakailangan. Middle speed is my default setting. This is the middle speed setting. Nasa gitna siya. And paano ba magpalit ng speed setting? Tulusin lang natin yung slide bar bolt. Then, slide the motor forward. Luluwag siya. And that will be your chance para mailipat na yung setting natin. Then, para naman siya ilak, i-move mo lang naman backward yung ating motor and then ilalak mo ulit ka. Once nakalak na yung slide bar bolt, iti-check naman natin yung tension ng ating belt. So, kung may kailangan ka pang i-adjust na tension, maluwag siya or sobrang hikwet, mag adjust tayo ulit. Ilagamit yung slower speed if I need to use a larger drill bits or I need to make a holes sa metals. The bigger the bits kasi and the faster the bits is spins, the hotter it gets. Mas marami kasi frictions and yun yung reason kung bakit nagiging dal or madaling masira yung drill bits natin. And always use wood bits for woods and metal bits for metals. This is the safety switch with on and off button. On. Off. And we have the safety feature of the emergency switch off button. So pwede mo siyang i-turn off dito, but for emergency purposes, you can switch off here. Mas madali siyang i-turn off dito. And 
On this side, we have the scale for depth stop. Ginagamit natin to for multiple boring of holes with same depth. Isaset mo lang yung screw na to kung saan measurement yung gusto mong gawin. For example, gusto mo yung lalim na ibubor mo na hole is 1 inch only. Isaset mo sa 1 inch, nanihikpita mo na siya dito. Para ito na yung magiging depth stop niya. So every time ngayon na magbubutas ka, consistent yung butas mo na ang depth is 1 inch na sinet up mo para sa kanya. And this is the handlebar para makontrol mo to lower down yung chuck during the drilling operation. And this is the chuck. Ito yung nag-hold ng ating mga drill bits. Ang capacity ng chuck natin na kaya accommodate yung diameter ng ating mga drill bits ay 13 mm or equivalent almost to half an inch. So, may laking drill bits kaya rin accommodate ito. It has an acrylic cover as additional safety features to protect us especially our eyes when drilling. You can adjust its cover, extend it or lift it. This is the quill set screw and that is the quill. Yung quill ang responsible para well aligned sa pag-angat at baba yung ating chuck. When we tighten this or ipitan natin yung screw na to, maglalak ngayon yung squill. It allows us ngayon to use this machine as a spindle sander na nakabaligtad. So kung may bala ka nakadulad dito, pwede mo siyang gamitin on this process. Itong sanding bit na to, kasama to sa package ng ating rotary tool kit. And this is the adjustable working table. To adjust the table, hold the table, then loosen the table lock hand. And adjust the table sa prepare mo na height. This is also a tilting work table. Pwede mo siyang itil. Ilulusin mo lang yung pivot bolt sa ilalim ng ating table, then pwede mo siyang itilt for your project na kakailanganin mo ng naka-angle. You can set the angle up to 45 degrees. We have guides naman dito. And this is the stable base. Ang solid nito. Pero mas maganda sa kanya, i-screw mo siya sa iyong table. Ito yung kauna-unahan mo dapat gawin. After mo ma-unbox to and ma-assemble, hanap ka na kagad ng table na pwede niyong patungan na sakto sa prepare mo na height. Kasi, mas okay yung height na sakto sa paggawa mo para less stressful para sa'yo. I think we discussed all the important things you need to know about having this drill press. In this 350 was drill press with 13 mm chuck capacity with half of a horsepower. Ito ay tatak lotus. Once again, 